Denver, Colorado, June 23rd, 2000. It was a quiet Friday morning, and a home care nurse had just arrived for a scheduled appointment at the apartment of her patient, Renee Ely. She had been bedridden, hospitalized, operation after operation. She was young, she was 36 years old. Renee suffered from the autoimmune disease lupus and required frequent care, so her nurse had her own key to the apartment. After she let herself in, she called out to let Renee know she was there, but she got no response. Worried, the nurse walked into Renee's living room where she found a horrifying scene. Renee is lying in a pool of her own blood. Police and paramedics arrived at the apartment moments later. She was pronounced dead. It was very obvious that it was a homicide. She had 21 stab wounds, including the stabs to her torso and neck. But who had killed Renee and why? The savage attack suggested that this murder had been deeply personal. They said that it was a crime of passion. But the viciousness of the crime scene couldn't prepare detectives for what lay ahead, or the twisted story of obsession that would unmask two killers whose depravity knew no limits. Thank <laughs> you.